subscribe to James the Sheriff Dixon, you motherfuckers. What's going on, guys? James here. Bring you another video, and we're going to be reviewing Fear the Walking Dead, Season 5, Episode 4, titled Skidmark. So let's jump right into this review. So like my other reviews, I say it's going to be short, but it's probably going to wind up to be about five minutes or so. So let's, again, let's jump right into this. So, um, it was another Daniel episode. I thought we weren't going to see Daniel again at the same time. There was a 50-50 chance we were. And, um, um, this was another great episode. Um, we don't know how it's going to go after the first four episodes because the critics only were able to see the first four and they said the first four were amazing. I thought they were. And this is another great episode that we got to saw this season so far. Um, we got some more Rick Rhymes movie connection with the helicopter and the soldiers. And, um, Morgan finally got to saw the helicopter. Alicia was there too. And, uh, we got another group of ki killer kids like we saw last season. Um, now Scott Gimple said we're going to see some storylines from The Walking Dead that we've already seen before. He, he could have talked about the, uh, Walker herd, like, <laughs> when Daniel was leading like Rick did before he died or like the Walker herd from season six, because that's kind of what the herd Danny was leading away towards his camp. Um, or he could be talking about the killer kids, which is kind of weird because fear is just a little bit behind from timeline wise from that storyline in season nine, because they didn't introduce killer kids until, um, the end of season nine when my show and killed all those kids. Spoiler alert if you did not see all of season 9 of The Walking Dead yet, if you're waiting for it to come out on Netflix. But, um, and like I said, one of my fav- this was probably one of my, uh, favorite episodes, um, because Daniel was the star of it, and, um, he and Strand patch things up at the end, and, um, a, a lot of fans think that Daniel's connected to Abraham because of the cigar, and I think that's a strong possibility because- who else likes to smoke cigars? Abraham. And uh, I, I really love the uh, helicopter scene, but Morgan really didn't react to it. He was just like, huh, a helicopter. That's not weird at all in the zombie apocalypse. He didn't really say anything. Alicia had a more of a bigger reaction than, than um, Morgan did. And that was one of my only problems with it. That, that episode that Morgan didn't really have a big reaction to the thing that's going to be taking Rick. So right now, I think this is like my prediction so far for like that's going to happen for episode five. Because so far, we've only seen one of the pilots because the second one was killed in the premiere when Althea was looking at the pilot. So I think there's only one pilot right now. I think if this is how this, the fifth episode's going to go, I think that Althea might become the second pilot that we see that take Rick's that, <laughs> Rick's that we see that take Rick in the fifth episode of season nine. If they j jump up in time with the story, we might see the helicopter leave. Unless that was them leaving right now to take Rick. I think that Althea might be the second pilot that takes Rick, or she might be the other person in the plane with Jadis. Uh, but the, with the way the story's going, I think that, like I said, one or two things that either Jadis will be in the helicopter with Rick when they take him, and we just didn't see her because they're holding that off for the movies. I still think J that uh, Althea is gonna be in the movie with Rick, and uh. Or that she might be the second pilot because they were wearing those helmets, so we don't know who they are. And because again, there's only been one pilot walking around, and we know that because the kids were spying on the pilot. And um, yeah, again, the killer kids thing. I don't know if that means Morgan's gonna kill them, or if like Alicia is to revert Morgan back to his clear moment. Like, I I don't know, man. But um. Like, like I said, like this was a great episode. I loved all the Daniel stuff and the Strand stuff, but like Killer Kids, and I'm mostly excited for next week's episode. But the Elthea thing, seeing, I hope we get to see some glimpses of Rick or more hints about like Alexandria 
and Althea finding out about another community and wanting to go there. Hopefully bringing fear onto The Walking Dead if they do not get a sixth season so that way we can see these characters more. But, um, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Like, uh, like I said, I will be doing at least one more good movie Friday, good movie Saturday before this month is over because VidCon will be about, is like two weeks away from now. Not the first week of July, it's the second week of July. And um, I'll be doing at least one bad movie Friday before the end of the month as well. So look out for those videos. And um, with that, I'm going to end this review here. This is James saying, if you like what you've been seeing, please like and subscribe for more. James saying, peace. I'll let Brian and Rogers take it from here. This has been a great season. I hope it doesn't go downhill from here since the first four episodes were great. That's it, guys. See you in the next one. Right. Um, I just want to shout out an amazing channel, uh, James the Sheriff Dixon. Oh, he's such a great guy, and he is super cool for coming to the show. I'm glad I got to meet him in person, and you should subscribe.